Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about something very special. We're going to talk about on scout lightning because unfortunately I don't think everyone has mastered them. So come on in close and let's talk about what we're going to do. My client here, you can see the overall end result. It's nice and balanced from her zone 2 to zone 3. Let me show you her zone 1 which is her regrowth. She's a natural level 3, very deep. We use the Joico Cream Lightener mixed with 20 volume we leave it on her scalp area for a good 75 minutes, lift it to pale yellow, then we refresh her ends. So today I'm going to show you where I'm going to start. Think about this. When using bleach, it's not going to stop. Bleach will keep on lightening as long as it is moist. It might not have as much gas in two hours as it did in the very beginning, but it will still move. So you'll see me go back through this application every 5 to 10, maybe even every 15 minutes, and make sure it's nice and moist. Because God forbid, you start in the back panel, and you forget about the back, and you work in the front, and this is beautiful and wonderful, now the back still is very brassy. So you got to make sure, key thing, perfect application, an eighth of an inch sectioning on the retouch area only, proper saturation, and keeping it moist the entire time until you've reached your destination with your lightness. So I've started in her back panel. You can see my sections are extremely fine. All I'm doing is beating the lightener on her scalp. I have a good amount of tension in my left hand, and it, you can see it ooze through. If I tend to do this, I'm going to push up the shaft of the hair. It's a very tedious application, but the end results are entirely worth it. Again, using tension in my left hand, I beat it with my right, and you can see it ooze through the strand. My sections are very, very fine. This application should take, I would say, a full 20 to 25 minutes for the saturation. So this is nothing that you can do for a quick 5-minute touch-up, 20-minute touch-up. I'm going to do this to the entire back panel. Follow to right above her ears, because it's dark right above her ears. And then her top panel will be the last section that I do. And you're going to see throughout the application. Nice solid bead, tension on my left hand, making sure this lightener oozes from one section to the next. I'm sure you get what oozes is. So I've finished her back right section, now I'm going to her back left. Again, very fine sections, an eighth of an inch parting. You want to see through it, see my saturation. Always starting in the darkest area when using on the scalp lightener. I'm using the Joico Cream Lightener Mix Equal Parts with 20 Volume Developer, the Joico Lightener. I have a good amount of tension in my left hand so the lightener will ooze through the previous section. Squeezing a nice solid bead. And not overlapping that lightener to the previously lightened zone 2 and 3. I'm going to follow this all the way down to the nape, cross check my application before I move forward to her front right. I'm going to do the front right, front left, and then I'm going to show you how to do the hairline. Hairlines tend to be naturally lighter, so that is why here I'm doing the hairline, the last section. We are probably, I would say, 12 minutes into her application now, so you can see that this would be a full 30-minute application for her retouch. Ideally, it would be great for her to come in every three weeks instead of four weeks. I think four weeks is pushing it way too long. Two weeks would even be better, because then all you need to do is beat it and have no tension. Three, three weeks is a must. Four weeks is a pain in the ass. So here we go, we've finished the entire back 
and the mid front area and I'm going to do her front, it's probably about a half an inch here up to the width of an inch right through here. So come on in, I want to show you this. This is where it's extremely delicate. Hair around the front frame is already sensitive. So we're going to go ahead and you can see how clean this application can be. You can see in my left hand I don't have a glove on. I'm using the nozzle to push my product. I'm zigzagging my retouch application because again, she, this is a four week touch up, not a three week touch up. What I'd like to do is in three weeks have Genevieve come back in and we'll do another video of her three week touch up. I think you guys would enjoy that. Then you can compare the difference of the bead and me zigging and zagging. See how delicate it is around the front frame? This is where when you overlap, if you overlap, you will get breakage. So this is about a 30, we're about 32 minutes into it. Around the front frame, once I finish this application, I'm going to go back, double check each quad that I applied to. and then step over and take a look at Genevieve about every five to ten minutes to make sure that we're nice and moist. Remember what we talked about, if bleach is not moist it will not lighten. And in the past her processing time has been between about 70 and 75 minutes. See these little tiny pieces? You can't forget about those. Alright, so that front hairline is done. We're good? So I've just finished her front hairline. Thoroughly saturated. All the little tiny hairs, not pushing it up to her zone too. I want to show you the back panel with me. So this is her back. Look how she's lightening. It's looking good, but we still see more orange than yellow. We want palest yellow, the inside of a banana for Genevieve's hair. Looks really good. Nice saturation. See how when the bleach sits for a while, you got to go back and you have to keep it nice and moist because this area here will stop. So that's what I'm going to do now. You will see it when you will see it right before we take it. So here we are. I want you to come in and check this out. So now Genevieve's hair has been processing for 65 to 70 minutes. We've went back and resaturated multiple times. I'm going to slide it over. You're going to see the, the color. Do we all agree this is not the inside of a banana? This is still too yellow, so she needs to sit. We're going to check her at least. She's probably going to have to sit for 10 more minutes, but we'll check her every five minutes because it's just too yellow. We don't want her to be a we don't want her to be a butterscotch at the end. We want her more like a steely gray. It's gorgeous. So we've just finished. It took basically about an hour and a half for the full process on her zone one with the bleach with 20 volume. I want you to take a look. So basically she's been shampooed and dried. Her ends are still slightly moist but nothing major. Here's her application. It looks like the inside of a banana. So this is what we're going to glaze her with. So I wanted her completely dry on zone one and zone two. On the ends, you know, the little over process, she needs a treatment for those. So we're going to do the already pre-wash on those ends as well after we do her glaze. But this is what we're going to glaze her with. We're mixing one and a half ounces of 10 ice in Beth Lenardi's signature demi-liquid acidic and a half of an ounce of five ice. Now think about what I'm doing. I'm adding a little bit of a deeper blue ice series to that 10 ice. What am I creating? I'm creating around level eight, eight and a half, steel shade. It's going to be gorgeous. It works perfect for her skin tone. So with the same as I did her touch up, I'm starting in the back panel, working with zone one, and you can see I'm going very quick. I'm going to start, I'm in the back, finish the full back panel, work towards the front, I'm going to let it sit on zone one and zone two, probably a good solid five minutes, and then run it through to those ends maybe the additional five or ten. We'll, we'll look at it and see.
You can see again very quick. If you wanted a deeper cool, possibly go with equal parts. I gotta go over here. Equal parts five ice and ten ice. At that point, you're creating a seven and a half level depth, but on a cool result. So your end result visually would be about a six and a half. Cool tones absorb light, warm tones reflect light. So perfect, I just finished her zone one and part zone two. I'm gonna let it sit. I'm actually gonna watch it. I'm gonna look at it in five minutes, take a glance, see if it's reached the tone that I want. At that point, I'm gonna bring it through on zone three. Why am I waiting? Ends that are overly porous will absorb the color deeper and cooler. The last thing you want is the hair to be darker on the ends. It's always okay for it to be darker at the retouch and lighter on the ends, but never the opposite. So I've just finished your glaze application. Remember, it was on zone one and zone two for five minutes. I just now take a look and put it on her ends. I want to show you the oxidation. So yes, again, five minutes through here, just ran it through her ends. This is going to get an oxidized to the same shade here. Take a look. This is what it's going to look like. It's perfect. See that? Looks wonderful. So here we are. We're all finished. Come take a look. It looks great. So we have very minimal yellow. It's a very soft steel shade. Deeper to about a 7.5 level 8 deposit. There's her retouch area. Looks good. And I just want you to take a look in the mirror. Come around here. Okay, and the front. Look at her skin tone. She looks best with cooler shades. Pull it away from her face. It looks great with her eyes. She's, remember, she's a natural level three, very deep. So to put a, very, a yellowy cream blonde on her, it would look horrendous. It would pull out all the yellow in her skin. We want to complement her with the right tone for her skin. And this, by creating the steelier, more gray shades, to me, with my eye, look best for her. So if you have any questions about hair color in general, general feel free to message me on Facebook, Sherry Rattay, Instagram, Sherry Rattay, and Twitter, Sherry Rattay. Thanks for following.